Good job. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. This is Chrysanthemum. Hello. This is Ariana. Why does she do that hello? Is that like her signature hello? Anyways, yes, that's it. <laughs> please excuse my attire. My hair is not combed. Anyways. Hello. Oh, look at the red birds. Yeah, right those there. are called cardinals. Uh -huh. Red birds. You see the red birds? You want to show no. the people the red birds? They're on, flying now. away. It's gone now. <laughs> they flew away. Anyways. Cheese. Cheese, Maya. Cheese, Maya. Say cheese. Look at the Maya. Okay. So, uh, All right. today our video is about... It's a public S service announcement. About STDs. Right. Um, I was at work yesterday, which was Monday. It's also a Piccadilly story. And I was at work, and so my manager has all these sheets of paper in his hand. So I'm like, "What is that?" So he goes to tell me that they were all inside of the male's bathroom in the female's bathroom. And I'm like, "What does it say?" So he told me he was joking around, like it's something about you. So I was like, "Well, let me read it." That's not cute. You so, didn't tell me that. When he gave it to me, I read it, right? It's not cute at all. So this is what it says. It says, update in incurable STD warning. It says, ladies and gentlemen, please be aware of this warning okay. by the name of Sh Subdivision. That, it says... Wait a minute. That submit that transmitted. It says um that tr that's her and she transmitted an incurable yes. deadly sexual it's transmitted proper. disease that, that I guess whoever wrote this it says that um transmitted disease to my boyfriend which I contracted contracted and destroyed and it destroyed our lives. We are African American, four men in Atlanta, Georgia area and the local CDC House Authority. Then she goes on to describe this child. She says, she is African American, around 5'8", brown skin, black straight hair, shoulder length or ponytail with a mole on her nose, brown eyes, nice medium built. She uh, frequent, Jeez. frequent? Jeez. She frequents oh, local restaurants. They don't make sense to me. She frequent loads. That means she goes there frequently. Oh, okay. Well, that's what they should have said. No, she but frequents that's local restaurants, English. clubs, and bars, spreading the disease to men throughout. Without. Without their knowledge. Wow. Ah. This makes it look like I can't read. I don't know if I want to post this. <laughs> anyway. Well, I can read it. <laughs> she was seen in a small early model Mercedes Benz. Okay. Please. <clears throat> Be vigilant and smart. Now, we were talking about it at work. Everybody's like, that's hate mail. That's hate mail. But it could be true. There's a lot of nasty people in Atlanta. A lot of them. Um, I don't know. They just, what are you doing? I guess it's, it's like saying, go ahead, keep going. I'm just, it's like, it's like dark or something. It's not dark. Okay. Go ahead. Keep going. So, um, she just had to touch it. It's just rude. Like, I don't understand the paper. It's pretty retarded to me. A little bit closer. It's pretty retarded for me. Um, I don't know what to say. That's Stay ignorant. For Stay real, for real. I would have been pissed. It has her address. Like, people can run up and knock on your door. Like, look, this was in Piccadilly. And who knows where else they posted this letter. Like, it could be in millions of thousands of places. But I don't know. Um, so, my mother, we're going to California on Thursday. But um, you're not even letting me say oh, something about it. You didn't tell me that you wanted to say anything about it. I asked you before oh the video started, and now she's I upset. I wanted to say she something. She didn't have to be hey, hey. Should have had a V8. Would you get your hands up for me? Hello. So, what I wanted to say about the letter mm. is this. Don't hit her. If you're okay. going to do things like this, um, as far as the person who has the disease, 
you should let people know that you're nasty or that you have a disease before you start having sex maybe they might not want to get the disease and if you're doing it because you're upset that you have the incurable disease and if it's an STD then I don't really think it's AIDS maybe the person has herpes but to put her address on the letter and stop Ariane to put her address on the letter and then also um, you know, tell that she frequents a tell what kind of carts, frequents bars and restaurants, tell what kind of car she drives. I think that's kind of wrong. But on the other hand, if now you have an incurable disease, you need to try to figure out what's going on with you and your boyfriend. And why is your boyfriend disease. having sex Cheating with on you, right? people without a condom? Even if he's going to cheat, okay, that's one thing. But don't even wear a condom so he could have even got this girl pregnant that's how stupid your boyfriend is so in the end you actually making yourself look dumb because you're right. saying you got and then you taking your time and money posting these buying tape printing printing out all of these um, letters take put them in Piccadilly so I'm sure you might have put them in the Burger King that's down the street there's another club down the street there's right. other things going on in that area so I guess you printed those papers out and posted them in restaurants and bathrooms around in that area and that's like a lot of time when you clearly have a disease now you should be focusing on yourself keeping yourself healthy and not trying to bring this woman down if you know exactly who the woman is why go through all of this this is like a waste of your time. If you did that, you might as well have just posted it all on Facebook. Listen, don't, don't get down. Post it on, if you have a MySpace, posted it on like a website so that everybody can know who the person is, address and everything that's going on. Um, why are you doing this? I'm not understanding why you're doing this. And I just think that it's very like wrong for you to do this because maybe you might even be lying on this girl. How do anybody know? And then you put her lifestyle out there like that. But that's all I have to say about it. Like, what do you think, people in YouTube land? What do you think? Do you think this was wrong for her to put the, na the name, address of the person? Not state the type of disease that it is, but state that, is a, that it is an incurable STD. Which, so far as what I know, it just sounds like that just might be herpes. The ones that just keeps getting all the breakouts and stuff like that. Um, you know, let us know what you think. What do you think they should, uh, what, what should they do? Like, would she, she have done a little bit better to be a little bit more adult instead of, if she, if this guy had papers and papers and papers, um, lots of papers inside of Piccadilly, that means he got them out of both bathrooms and she posted them. So I'm sure she went to all the other restaurants in that area and posted them, um, and basically, as easy as, as it is to find somebody's address, somebody actually could type in this lady's address. I mean, their phone numbers. That's what I'm saying. Some somebody might can type in this lady's address and find her telephone numbers. All types of things about her. Might even find a, a picture of this lady. I mean, on Facebook, you can put her first and last name. You, she might have a Facebook page, and then you know that's kind of not cool. But you tell us what you think. Oh Lord, it's not a Lisa Ray moment though. <laughs> anyway, so you tell us what you think about it um, in YouTube land. Leave us a comment. Please rate. Please subscribe if this is your first time looking at us. We usually don't have all this extra going on if this is your first time looking at us. But we ran out of minutes. It's 9.07. Bye-bye. That was nine minutes. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye Facebook. I mean bye-bye. That's not uh, Facebook. I was going to say Norristown. Bye-bye YouTube. Say bye-bye YouTube. Give Bye a kiss, go. Mwah. Mwah. Good job.